At least 30 Chinese factories are currently actively participating and extensively planning for sodium ion batteries, including CATL, a long-term partner of Tesla. Meanwhile, most American automakers are currently 60% dependent on foreign lithium supplies. If this reliance on foreign lithium supplies persists and federal tax credit requirements become more stringent, there is a risk that 100% of EVs may lose tax credits solely because of lithium. This situation underscores the importance for manufacturers to explore alternative battery technologies. Finding another type of battery to replace lithium would be the smart path for forward-thinking manufacturers, but which battery technology holds enough potential to become the master of the game in the vast EV market? Enter the sodium ion battery, which is what analysts and research groups first proposed. So what breakthrough has the sodium ion battery made in its Gen 2 iteration to become the next choice for a green horizon? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started with today's content. Sodium ion batteries have a research history dating back to the 70s, running parallel to the development of lithium ion batteries. However, their acceptance rate has been slower compared to lithium ion due to limitations in the sodium storage capacity of positive electrode materials, primarily graphite, researched during that time. Therefore, it's not that this battery technology is inferior to lithium. Instead, it has grappled with the challenge of finding a suitable positive electrode material that can maximize its potential. But by 2024, or in the past few years, everything has changed. As we unravel the recent advancements in sodium ion battery technology, it sparks an intriguing question. What if Tesla's future EVs are powered by sodium ion batteries. The landscape of electric vehicle power sources is evolving, and Tesla, known for pushing boundaries, could be on the verge of another groundbreaking shift. When assessing a new battery technology, the question often arises about its potential to earn the trust of a discerning individual like Elon Musk, or more simply, what factors would lead Tesla to choose it over lithium? Undoubtedly, there are numerous grounds for sodium ion to be integrated into some Tesla electric vehicle models. However, Musk might consider three primary advantages of sodium ion. Firstly, the supply production and future prospects of sodium ion are as promising as lithium ion batteries. According to Bloomberg NAF, Sodium could potentially reduce lithium demand by about 272,000 tons by the year 2035, or over a million tons if lithium supply cannot meet usage demands. Despite lithium traditionally being known for its abundant resources, it is primarily available in the regions of South America, specifically Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, as well as in Asia. Spoilers, it's China. These countries collectively hold the world's largest lithium reserves, accounting for about 70% of global lithium reserves. However, this resource faces numerous challenges due to overexploitation and issues in the refining process for use in batteries. Contemplating a future where lithium may no longer be the preferred choice, manufacturers and energy researchers need an alternative technology to serve as a backup and sodium ion appears to be an excellent choice. How sodium ion batteries might revolutionize the EV industry isn't just confined to technology. It extends to the economic landscape as well. By potentially reducing the demand for lithium and offering promising alternatives, sodium ion batteries could play a pivotal role in lowering the overall cost of electric vehicles. While exploring the potential benefits of sodium ion batteries, it's essential to understand the abundance and availability of sodium compared to lithium. Sodium, the sixth most abundant element on Earth, constitutes about 2.6% of the Earth's crust, surpassing the availability of lithium, which is the 33rd most abundant element. The contrast in their abundance becomes even more pronounced when considering the cost factor. In 2023, the price of lithium carbonate reached over 80,000 US dollars per ton, while sodium carbonate's current price is approximately $350 per ton. With this significant price difference and the chemical similarity, 
properties between sodium and lithium, companies are increasingly exploring sodium as a viable and cost-effective alternative for EV batteries. In addition to being abundantly available and cost-effective, the latest sodium ion batteries do not rely on scarce materials like cobalt and nickel, which typically constitute a fifth to a half of the components in lithium-ion batteries. As you're aware, these materials are neither inexpensive nor do they have stable prices, and Tesla is actively working towards eliminating them entirely due to various humanitarian and labor-related factors. Regarding extraction and production, without delving too deeply into the specific methods employed by each country, region, or manufacturer for sodium extraction, we won't assert that extracting sodium, whether from seawater or other sources, has no environmental impact similar to to lithium. However, we can suggest that it is likely to be less polluting due to the abundant nature of sodium in the Earth's crust. Now let's go over the unique capabilities they hold for Tesla's future electric vehicles. First and foremost is the commercial factor affecting the cost of EVs. Investing in a cheaper element will result in a battery cell with a much more attractive cost compared to a costly element added to lithium batteries, such as cobalt, which is currently priced at around 29 9,135 US dollars per ton, or lithium carbonate at 97,500 Chinese yuan imported from China, which is about $14,000 per ton. This is significant not only because it could impact the eligibility for the $7,500 federal tax credit when an EV qualifies, but also because requirements for the source and production of the batteries make up almost 100% of it. The $7,500 EV tax credit consists of two separate credits, each worth $3,750, so basically split down the middle. For a vehicle to be eligible for both credits, it must meet both criteria. One, a portion of the battery pack must be produced or assembled in North America, and two, the battery production process requires a portion of the battery components to be manufactured or assembled in North America. America. This underscores the importance of using materials and manufacturing processes within the region to qualify for EV tax incentives. Therefore, as standards increase and requirements for a 100% US-made battery technology become more prevalent, traditional lithium battery packs may indeed lose the $7,500 tax credit advantage. Therefore, Tesla's potential use of sodium ion batteries sourced and manufactured entirely domestically, rather than importing, would likely help sustain tax credits for the manufacturer, at least until the $7,500 tax credit program expires. We also believe that when your Tesla needs a battery replacement, a sodium ion battery pack would significantly lighten the financial burden. Trust in this. And above all, these factors combined would be beneficial for both Musk and Tesla customers, especially as both are inclined toward more affordable EVs. Now, considering the potential advantages for both Musk and Tesla customers, particularly in the pursuit of more affordable EVs, let's explore the chemical properties that set sodium ion batteries apart. Although lithium ion batteries are still highly regarded for the safety of electric vehicles, the risk of combustion or fire is higher compared to any other battery technology on the market, with a risk rate ranging from 2 to 3%. This is why people often refer to lithium-ion batteries as a slow-motion bomb. On the other hand, sodium has a lower chemical reactivity than lithium, making sodium-ion batteries less prone to combustion or explosion. Sodium-ion batteries, with their superior performance in both high and low temperature conditions, are becoming an excellent solution in the field of energy storage. They're their versatility is a result of effective operation over a wide temperature range from negative 40 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius. This makes sodium ion batteries a preferred choice for applications that demand consistent and stable energy performance in diverse environmental conditions. With the ability to operate stably at low temperatures, sodium ion batteries become particularly useful in renewable energy applications where temperatures may fluctuate suddenly or in environmental 
environments with unstable conditions. Simultaneously, their efficient operation at high temperatures makes them an ideal choice for applications requiring high energy output while ensuring safety and stability during use. With these advantages, sodium ion batteries are not only a breakthrough in battery technology, but also open up new prospects in the field of energy storage and utilization, especially in the context of increasing demand for clean and sustainable energy sources. It's also worth noting that sodium ion batteries do not exhibit over discharge characteristics allowing them to discharge to zero volts. They have an energy density exceeding 100 watt hours per kilogram, enabling them to compete with lithium iron phosphate batteries, but with a significant cost advantage. This makes them a potential replacement for traditional lead acid batteries in large scale energy storage applications. Having uncovered the potential benefits of sodium ion batteries for Musk and you, the next question naturally arises, which test Tesla model is best suited for sodium ion batteries. If choosing the best fit model for sodium ion battery technology, it is certain that Tesla will apply it to the EV Gen 3, also known as the $25,000 electric car. This is because the characteristics of this type of battery are suitable for a more affordable vehicle rather than expensive high-end models. The battery constitutes at least 40% of the overall cost of this model EV making sodium ion technology a cost-effective choice for the Model 2, as it's also known by, which may not be the official name. We're still waiting on Tesla to make that announcement. Customers of the Model 2 won't have to worry about the price surging to $40,000 or $50,000 like the Model 3 or Y, allowing Tesla to maintain its commitment to an affordable EV for the mass market. Maintaining the $25,000 price tag for the EV Gen 3 would not only demonstrate Tesla's commitment to affordability, but also potentially make the Model 2 eligible for a $7,500 tax credit, making it quite electrifying for customers, no pun intended, who could acquire this hatchback for $17,500. The unique feature of having a separate battery technology would add intrigue to the Model 2. While sodium ion may not match the power of lithium ion, its nature makes it suitable for creating a hatchback with a ranging from 170 miles to 190 miles, aligning with the expected characteristics of the Model 2. As for Tesla's exploration of sodium ion batteries, some inside sources suggest that Tesla has indeed researched sodium ion batteries since the year 2017. However, there is secrecy surrounding the matter and the technology has not been implemented up to the present time. Tesla seems to take sodium ion batteries seriously considering their potential game-changing factors. The primary requirement for an 80% battery technology is high energy density to achieve a good driving range. Unfortunately, sodium ion batteries have not yet met this criterion, with an average energy density ranging from 90 to 150 watt hours per kilogram, lower than the 250 watt hours per kilogram of lithium ion batteries. Despite the current low energy density hurdle, Tesla has not permanently excluded sodium ion technology from its research research strategy. It is speculated that Tesla might be actively seeking ways to overcome this drawback, especially considering the successful application of sodium ion batteries by competitors like BYD and the progress made by longtime Tesla partner CATL with sodium ion batteries. It's possible that Tesla has quietly imported some for testing purposes in certain EV models. Moreover, Tesla doesn't need to worry too much about expanding a dedicated factory for sodium ion in the future if it becomes a chosen option. In terms of production, most sodium ion technologies today use a process similar to lithium ion batteries, which is advantageous in terms of economies of scale and knowledge transfer from lithium. Equipping an existing lithium plant with additional sodium ion technology might only incur an additional 10% capital cost. Now that we've explored the advantages of sodium ion batteries and considered their potential application in future Tesla vehicles, let's delve 
delve into the intriguing question. How did sodium ion batteries convince automakers with Gen 2? Sodium ion is making significant progress, gaining trust among scientists, and it seems only a matter of time before it replaces lithium ion batteries. One positive development is the change in electrodes, specifically the use of a hard carbon electrode instead of graphite, which has propelled sodium ion batteries to a new level. This change results in a high capacity nanostructure, 1.6 times higher, or 60% higher, than the previous generation's technology primarily made of graphite. In sodium ion batteries, a higher temperature synthesized hard carbon called G1500 outperforms lower temperature hard carbon at a lower current density. The superior performance of G1500 is attributed to the balance between defects, as well as inner layer spacing and porosity, making it better equipped to store sodium ions compared to a hard carbon lithium battery synthesized at lower temperatures known as G1000. The researcher's innovation extends beyond material change involving a synthetic strategy that produces nanostructured hard carbon with nanopores. These nanopores significantly increase the electrode's ability to store sodium ions, enhancing the overall performance of the battery. At their core, sodium ion batteries batteries operate by the movement of sodium ions between electrodes during charge and discharge cycles. This similarity to lithium ion batteries allows existing manufacturing facilities to adapt sodium ion technology with minimal adjustments, potentially accelerating its adoption in various sectors. The use of a similar manufacturing process also makes it more feasible for companies to transition to sodium ion technology without significant infrastructure changes. Transitioning from the core functionality of sodium ion batteries, let's now dive into their production process. In the the manufacturing process of sodium ion batteries, several crucial steps are involved, beginning with the preparation of materials. Key components include a cathode, anode, electrolyte, and separator, carefully selected and processed to optimize battery performance. The cathode determining battery performance often employs materials like sodium iron phosphate. The cathode material is synthesized, coated onto the current collector, and dried to create the cathode electrode. For the anode, the sodium ion battery employs is hard carbon instead of carbon in Gen 1. Similar to the cathode, the anode material is prepared, coated on the current collector, and dried to form the anode electrode. The electrolyte, typically a sodium salt dissolved in a solvent, facilitates ion movement. To prevent direct contact between the cathode and anode, ensuring safety and preventing short circuits, a separator is employed. The assembly of cathode, anode, electrolyte, and separator into one cell involves stacking layers in a specific order to maximize performance and safety. Once assembled, the cell is sealed to prevent leakage and ensure air tightness, crucial for maintaining internal component integrity. Additional stages include testing, module and package assembly, quality control, and safety certification according to international standards. With sodium ion battery Gen 2, advancements are notable, making it more complete than the graphite holes of earlier generations. This completeness contributes to its widespread adoption by manufacturers. Recent developments from BYD, a leading electric vehicle and battery manufacturer, indicate the growing potential of sodium ion batteries. BYD has broken ground on its first sodium ion battery factory, investing 1.4 billion US dollars with an expected annual capacity of 30 gigawatt hours. The BYD Seagull is rumored to be the first mass-produced EV to use a sodium ion battery. As BYD demonstrates the superiority of sodium battery technology, Tesla, recognizing its potential, could adopt sodium ion in the Model 2. This strategic move not only strengthens Tesla's position in the technology race, but also provides an opportunity to explore and leverage the benefits of this innovative technology. Testing on the Model 2 will offer valuable insights into the real-world performance and utility of sodium ion, laying the groundwork for Tesla's continued leadership in the EV industry. And there you have it folks, the potential revolution in the EV industry with sodium ion batteries. From their abundance and cost effectiveness to the game-changing factors for Musk 
and for you, sodium ion batteries are making waves. Again, no pun intended. But the big question remains, will Tesla's future electric vehicles be powered by sodium ion batteries? Speaking of BMW, the company has long favored large cylindrical batteries after observing Tesla's achievements. In September 2022, BMW announced that it would adopt an entirely new large cylindrical batteries for the new class model starting in 2025. So the 4695 is what they're aiming for. How can the 4695 BMW battery technology compete with 4680 Tesla? With the surge in Cybertruck pre-orders, Tesla is working on enhancing the development and production of its 4680 battery cells. Recently, the manufacturer achieved the production of 20 million cells at its Tesla factory. Additionally, the South Korean battery manufacturer LG Energy Solution LGES, has announced a $3.9 billion investment to build a new production line for 4680 batteries for Tesla in the country. While Tesla is focused on developing large quantities of its latest battery technology, BMW confidently challenges Tesla with its 4695 battery technology, suggesting that Tesla will be left behind if they don't catch up. It's somewhat surprising considering Tesla is known for being a pioneer in researching new energy technologies and new battery systems and collaborating effectively with major battery manufacturers. Therefore, to be on par with Tesla's 4680 battery, the 4695 from BMW must be a significantly potential battery. Is this true? And should Tesla strive to catch up with BMW's technology? Or should they concentrate on the large-scale development of the 4680 battery? To gain a more objective understanding, let's compare these two battery technologies. It's known that EVE will be the primary supplier of the 4695 battery for BMW. The 4695 is also a type of cylindrical lithium-ion NMC battery, quite similar to the 4680, but with a height of 95 millimeters. In terms of energy density, the 4680 battery ranges from 272 to 296 watt-hours per kilogram, while the energy density of the 4695 battery, based on our findings, is around 280 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. We also researched the capacity of these batteries, with the 4695 having a capacity of 31,000 mAh and the 4680 having a capacity of 26,000 mAh. It's easy to see that the difference is slightly significant, indicating that the BMW battery has the capability to store and deliver more energy. The higher energy density of the 4695 battery provides a longer range for electric vehicles. For example, a Tesla Model 3 with a 4680 battery can go up to 400 miles longer, while a 4695 battery can go up to 420 miles. This is an advantage that we highly appreciate about this type of battery. It can greatly improve the limitations of short-range electric vehicles. We had an idea if Tesla used this battery pack for the Model 2, but this is far-fetched or nonsense. Just kidding. So, is there a big difference in the charging capabilities of the 4695 and 4680? Returning to the topic, because the 4695 battery has a higher energy density than the 4680 battery, it means it can store more energy within a given volume. This advantage can improve the charging capability of the battery, as it can charge faster from 0 to 60% in about 15 minutes without overheating. However, the 4695 battery also has higher electrical resistance than the 4680 battery. Higher electrical resistance means the battery will lose more energy during charging. This could reduce the charging efficiency of the battery as it requires more energy to reach a full charge. On the other hand, the 4680 Tesla battery has an all-pole tab structure, so it only takes 20 minutes to charge the 400 voltage range to help the 4680 reach 60%. As recently announced, the Cybertruck uses an 800 volt voltage range for the 4680 battery pack so the charging speed will be shortened to about 15 minutes. In conclusion, the charging capacity of these two battery technologies is determined by many factors, depends on many different conditions, and does not make a big difference. So, what are the limitations to the 4695 versus the 4680? Because the mechanical strength of the 4680 battery is higher, it is more suitable for CTC technology, cell-to-chassis. 
Tesla has eliminated the battery cover on the 4680 battery array, increasing space utilization. In terms of manufacturing costs, Musk said that after adopting the CTC Plus integrated die casting technology, 370 parts can be saved, the body weight can be reduced by 10%, and the battery cost per kilowatt hour can be reduced by 7%. Meanwhile, BMW has not adopted this technology and has even mocked Gigapress machinery. So with the 4695 battery, it's certain that the size could be significantly larger and heavier if BMW lacks the manufacturing capability similar to Tesla's. In terms of material costs, producing the 4680 battery could cost as low as $100 per kilowatt hour while manufacturing the 4695 battery might go up to $150 per kilowatt hour due to its larger size, requiring more materials and a more complex shaping process. On the other hand, the 4695 battery will have a significant drawback in that it is likely to be heavier within the same unit, as 445G per cell compared to the 355G of the 4680. When considering the application of these batteries in electric vehicles, it poses challenges in terms of the vehicle's weight and its impact on performance. As mentioned earlier, a 10% reduction in vehicle weight with CTC technology means the vehicle can operate longer while consuming the same amount of electric power. Not stopping there, alongside the differences in voltage, there's another crucial aspect to consider, the fast charging cycle lifespan of the two types of batteries. The 4680 battery type is evaluated to have a fast charging cycle lifespan of 1500 cycles. This means the battery can charge and discharge reliably for approximately 1500 cycles before the performance starts to degrade significantly. On the other hand, the 4695 battery type has a lower fast charging cycle lifespan of 1200 cycles and a number lower than its 4680 counterpart. This could impact the usability and performance of the battery in applications that require frequent charging and discharging. According to BMW, their new battery technology has a higher nickel content and lower cobalt content, making it more environmentally friendly. The German automaker also notes that they are aiming for a 95% material recycling rate for high-voltage electric vehicle batteries. However, this is a target and the battery has not yet been implemented and tested. While BMW's enthusiasm for their new battery generation is commendable, the German automaker may face challenges in scaling up the production of the EV4695 batteries much like Tesla. Even the industry leader has encountered difficulties in ramping up the production of the 4680 cells introduced on battery day in 2020. Elon Musk has previously emphasized that mass production of new technologies is an extremely challenging endeavor. Both the 4680 and 4695 batteries have their strengths and weaknesses, and both technologies are worthy of application. However, in terms of production factors, it seems that the 4695 may face more challenges in scaling up production, and it has not been implemented in electric vehicles yet, making it difficult to determine official specifications. In addition to focusing on the large-scale production of the 4680, Tesla is also exploring a battery technology that addresses a key aspect that the company has always aimed for fast charging capability. The XFC StoreDot battery, nicknamed 105, is what the manufacturer is currently testing. Why can StoreDot's battery potentially usher in a new era for electric vehicles? The manufacturer StoreDot is certainly no stranger to audiences or customers interested in the energy sector or the electric vehicle market. StoreDot is considered a pioneer in fast charging battery technology for electric vehicles, leading the way in Israel. Let's talk about StoreDot's XFC battery, also known as 105. The 105 battery is a lithium ion pouch type battery that utilizes StoreDot's high density silicon anode technology with a 38H capacity. Typically, when looking at lithium ion battery packs, graphite is predominantly seen playing the role of the main positive electrode material. In contrast, in the XFC battery, the silicon material of the positive electrode is nanostructured, increasing the surface area in contact with the electrolyte and thereby accelerating the transfer of lithium ions. It has the capability to store more energy than 10 times higher than traditional graphite positive electrode materials, allowing for faster charging without reducing battery capacity. 
In early November, we received information that StoreDot conducted an experiment involving multiple consecutive fast charging cycles and compared them with slow charging scenarios. Specifically, the company carried out 1,000 consecutive fast charging XFC tests, including sessions where the charging state increased from 10 to 80% in just 10 minutes, as well as charging the state of charge SOC from 0 to 100% using extreme fast charging. After the conducted experiments, StoreDot achieved an impressive result that the XFC cells did not experience degradation compared to cells charged slowly from 0 to 100% SOC. To put it simply, regardless of whether the XFC batteries charged at a slow or very fast rate, the degradation remains the same. This provides reassurance for those seeking a battery pack that can endure up to 1.5 million miles without encountering significant issues. It's given an interesting name, 105, because StoreDot claims to provide a range of 100 miles with a full charge within 5 minutes as promised by the company by the year 2024. If this claim holds true, the XFC battery will usher in a new era for electric vehicles from any manufacturer in the market. So, how is Tesla testing StoreDot's XFC battery technology? A coincidence is that, as we know, Tesla has always focused on a strategy to reduce electric vehicle charging time by improving various battery technologies to enhance brand credibility and, more importantly, to reduce range anxiety and provide more convenience for its customers. Around the end of June, several reliable sources reported that Tesla had just conducted tests on the potential of StoreDot's XFC battery technology. Specifically, the company conducted numerous internal tests at its laboratory in California, focusing on the performance of the 105 battery. According to reports from USA Today, Tesla's expertise in battery management systems and vehicle integration positions the company as a leading candidate to assess and potentially confirm the functionality of StoreDot's new battery technologies. During the exploration of StoreDot's XFC battery technology, Tesla conducted rigorous tests to evaluate safety, reliability, and lifespan. This thorough evaluation is necessary to ensure the suitability of the technology for mass production and to open up possibilities for collaboration with StoreDot. The research results have not yet been disclosed by Tesla, and the research process may still be ongoing. Conducting comprehensive research on all aspects of a battery typically takes over a year, including monitoring the battery's operation and measuring the results. Interestingly, a third-party assessment of StoreDot's XFC battery technology has yielded very positive evaluations for this type of battery. Schmuldelion Energy, or SDLE, an independent battery laboratory, tested StoreDot's XFC battery at the end of 2022 and concluded that this type of battery is ready for electric vehicle production. They highlighted the technology's superior fast charging capability, high energy density, and commercial viability. SDLE conducted tests on this EV battery through 1,000 consecutive fast charging cycles to complete evaluations related to energy density, charging speed, operating conditions, and cycles. The test demonstrated that the battery leads the energy in energy density, reaching 300 watt-hours per kilogram. However, we acknowledge a limitation of StoreDot's XFC battery regarding the use of silicon as the positive electrode, which could potentially result in a higher cost compared to the traditional lead positive electrode, even though silicon is much more efficient due to its properties. From our research, the price of silicon is around $4,250 per ton, while graphite is cheaper at around $3,200 US dollars per ton. Fortunately, StoreDot estimates that the production cost could be significantly reduced, saving thousands of dollars by reducing the size of the battery pack, for example, from 80 kilowatt hours to 50 kilowatt hours, saving 200 kilograms. Because it is a pouch type, it is sure to be lighter than the cylindrical one. XFC is also more environmentally friendly and does not degrade like other materials used, such as lead. StoreDot is aiming to improve its XFC battery to have a 3-minute charging capability by 2028 and 100 miles in 2 minutes by the end of the decade. Although we know it is very challenging, nothing is certain without a clear vision of the future. CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, had previously mentioned that the company is still looking for ways to ensure a greater supply of batteries for its vehicles. 
The company is also keeping its options open when it comes to new battery technologies, as StoreDot's fast-charging XFC battery is certainly seen as a significant breakthrough if it proves its mass production capabilities. StoreDot is currently researching the feasibility of mass producing its 105 batteries with its manufacturing partner EV Energy in China. StoreDot aims to start mass production of the batteries in 2024, while Tesla's testing of StoreDot batteries doesn't necessarily indicate a sign of collaboration between the two companies in the future. It highlights Tesla's focus on pursuing next-generation battery technology that could further improve vehicle performance. In conclusion, the XFC battery technology, with its remarkable ability to charge up to 80% in under 10 minutes, appears to be a suitable candidate for integration into Tesla's current lineup. Despite not delving into other factors, the XFC's fast charging capability aligns well with Tesla's overarching strategy of reducing charging time, addressing range anxiety, and enhancing convenience for their customers. So, how do you feel about the battery technology in today's episode? In this context, the importance of EV batteries for electric vehicle performance cannot be overstated. The following battery technologies will represent significant advances over conventional lithium-ion batteries in terms of energy density, safety, longevity, and cost-effectiveness. 1. New Generation Lithium-Ion Batteries The new generation of lithium-ion batteries is harnessing innovative materials and designs to achieve ever higher energy densities. One of the key advances in this field involves the use of a new cathode with a nickel compound and lithium-rich silicon anode material that increases the density of LIBs by up to 50%, more precisely is 333 watt-hours per kilogram, and the ability to charge from 10 to 80% in just 15 minutes according to the Tesla 4680 battery estimate. This is a significant leap forward in battery technology as higher energy density leads to longer range electric vehicles and reduced need for frequent recharging because of the many advantages of new generation LIBs more points and overcome limitations in its old version. These new generations of lithium ion batteries have a longer lifespan, reducing the overall cost of EV ownership as they require fewer replacements over the vehicle's lifetime. Today, among all the most advanced storage technologies, the new lithium-ion battery technology allows to achieve the highest energy density. Performances such as fast charging or temperature operating windows minus 50 degrees Celsius to 125 Celsius can be fine-tuned with a wide choice of cell designs and chemistry. Furthermore, lithium-ion batteries have an additional advantage such as very low self-discharge and very long life as well as cyclic performance, typically thousands of charges and discharge cycles. NMC or nickel manganese cobalt and NCA nickel cobalt aluminum are two of the most common chemicals used in this new generation of lithium ion battery technology. A notable example is Tesla's 4680 battery launching in 2022, a larger and more efficient version of the 2170 battery used in their current vehicles. The Type 4680 battery manufactured by Tesla is equipped with an NCM811 chemical cathode. Material characteristics show that the cathode has a nickel content of 81.6% and a cobalt content of about 12%. However, analysis of the anode showed that it contained no silicon. The active material at the anode is graphite. That was another surprise, as typically 10-15% to silicon is added to the anodes of modern lithium-ion batteries to increase capacity energy density. This is considered Tesla's intention to become a pioneer in dry electrode technology. While the 4680 battery boasts some impressive specs, you can only find it in a specific Tesla vehicle like the Model Y, which is manufactured at Tesla's factory in Texas. However, it is five times the size of the 2170 battery and even larger than Tesla's previous 18650 battery. Looking ahead, the 4680 battery is expected to be equipped in more Tesla models than just the Model Y. In fact, the plan is to install the 4680 battery in every model, including the upcoming Cybertruck delivery by the end of this year. Not only is it cheaper, but it also offers more distance on a single charge. These two factors make it extremely attractive to Tesla and its entire EV lineup. From energy density perspective, Tesla's managed to create a battery cell that's on par with some of the best battery cells being created today. So, what is expected of the 4680 lithium-ion battery? In fact, 
The 4680 battery has been produced and used in Tesla's electric vehicle technology. However, Tesla has always placed great performance on the 4680's ability to cut costs and deliver high performance. Plans to cooperate with giant battery manufacturers such as LG, Panasonic, or China's Cattle promise to bring the next generation of 4680 batteries with higher energy density of up to 118 watt-hours per cell. Lithium-ion batteries have long been the dominant technology in the electric vehicle market. Their relatively high energy density, durability, and performance have made them the top choice of electric vehicle manufacturers around the world. However, conventional LIBs are approaching their theoretical energy density limit. However, applying new generation lithium-ion batteries to electric vehicle technology always presents great challenges and comes with impressive prospects. The main barrier is the cost associated with the material used in these batteries, cobalt. The supply of this material has caused some major impacts on the environment, and especially the exploitation of cobalt mines seem to be exploiting human labor. Regardless, the new lithium-ion batteries will still lead the trend for a while before researchers find a new energy solution for the EV industry in the future. 2. Lithium Sulfur Batteries Lithium sulfur or LIS batteries present a promising alternative to lithium-ion batteries in the future. These next-generation batteries use sulfur as the cathode material, which has a much higher theoretical energy density compared to the cathode materials typically used in lithium-ion batteries. This inherent advantage provides LIS batteries with exceptional energy storage potential. One deciding factor is that sulfur is the tenth most abundant chemical element on Earth, so it's in abundant supply on the market. When you look at lithium sulfur, you say, well, there's a lot of sulfur out in the world, and it is very, very cheap. A commercial lithium sulfur battery could make electrification something that is abundant, where it is easy to electrify everything, said Selena Mikolajak, Chief Battery Technology Officer at Startup Leighton. According to market research data on fourth quarter of this year, the cost to get one ton of sulfur is just 108 bucks a ton. For comparison, you can get 280 tons of sulfur with the same amount of money that can buy one ton of cobalt. The researchers say they've optimized production costs so that the lithium sulfur battery costs six times less than Tesla's current 4680 battery. It's only about $17 a kilowatt hour. The use of sulfur in batteries could provide a theoretical super high energy density or the amount of energy a battery can hold on a single charge. The lithium sulfur battery is capable of providing an energy density of over 600 watt hours per kilogram. Today's EVs can drive about 300 miles per charge but lithium sulfur batteries have the potential to double that range or create an EV that's half the weight of the lithium ion powered equivalent. With the idea that lithium sulfur batteries don't use cobalt, it eliminates barriers to environmental and human rights issues in cobalt mines. The abundant supply of sulfur makes the cost cheaper and can easily increase output. A number of early companies have actively attempted to commercialize this technology. Lighten is a California company that's been pursuing lithium sulfur batteries for years with significant support from the U.S. military. They have an ability to produce 200,000 batteries per year. That's a small number compared to the number of lithium-ion batteries produced commercially every year, but those prototype cells will be shared with potential customers in the military EV industry to test, investigate, and evaluate future commercial possibilities. They are being explored for use in aviation and even space exploration. Lighten's lithium sulfur battery technology can unleash the performance potential of sulfur by preventing polysulfide shuttle, a damaging factor that shortens battery life and has prevented its use in lithium sulfur batteries in electric vehicles until now. During Department of Defense testing, the Lighten cell prototype design survived more than 1,400 charge-discharge cycles. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the electric transportation industry by providing batteries with unprecedented energy density and cost efficiency. However, despite recent innovations in funding, lithium sulfur batteries still have a long way to go, but is being developed in laboratories around the world. The progress really takes more time. 3. Solid State Batteries Currently, any rechargeable lithium battery relies on two electrodes that exchange ions through a liquid electrolyte. This works very well, however, there is a downside. Some liquid electrolytes are flammable when abused or damaged. Therefore, this type of battery uses a solid electrolyte. 
This fundamental design change brings numerous advantages, including enhanced safety, higher energy density, and a longer lifespan. One limitation that is being noticed is that solid-state batteries can be three to four times more expensive than traditional lithium-ion batteries because they require high design and integration techniques. Solid-state polymers and ultra-thin ceramics, oxides, nitrides, sulfides used as electrolytes are very sensitive and difficult to produce. Additionally, solid-state batteries still have to use cobalt, and practically all electric car battery manufacturers are facing the risk of a cobalt shortage today. However, it has many advantages compared to the previous two battery models that we analyzed. Because the electrolyte material in solid-state batteries is mechanically resistant to higher temperatures, this makes the separation between the anode and cathode more reliable, to the point that it prevents short circuits, even in case of misuse or damage, and thus the intrinsic safety of the cell is increased. According to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, solid-state batteries are capable of storing 500 watt-hours per kilogram. Higher energy density results in increased range of more than 750 miles on a single charge and provides better performance for electric vehicles. Solid-state batteries can be charged faster than conventional lithium-ion batteries, with a charging time from 10 to 80 percent in just 10 minutes as announced by Toyota. A Japanese automaker with the goal of launching a new EV will run entirely on solid-state batteries in early 2027. Additionally, solid-state batteries are less sensitive to temperature changes, allowing them to operate effectively in harsh conditions. Currently, many electric car owners complain about poor vehicle performance in cold weather conditions. Specifically, the operating range is shortened, the battery charge is slower, and the vehicle runs weaker. These problems are believed to be due to lithium-ion batteries having an ideal operating temperature range of 10 to 30 degrees Celsius. Many EVs seem to be suffered in the cold winters of North America or Norway. On the contrary, published scientific studies show that solid-state batteries can operate effectively in a temperature range from minus 40 to 170 degrees Celsius. Several companies are actively developing solid-state batteries for a variety of applications, including electric vehicles. Previously, extending the life of solid-state batteries was an issue that made this battery technology unfeasible for commercialization. But in the end, Toyota claims that they can solve this challenge to remove the barrier. What follows in developing mass production capabilities will have an impact on the landscape of the EV market. In addition, Nissan and BMW also have plans to bring EV technologies using solid-state batteries by 2030. Startups like QuantumScape are making significant progress in commercializing solid-state batteries for automotive applications. When will solid-state batteries be available on the market? Despite many advantages, solid-state batteries still face challenges in terms of production and scalability. Saving costs on solid-state batteries is still a complicated task. Solid-state batteries will emerge as a mature technology in about 8 to 10 years when their combination of low-cost, high-energy density, low weight, and long life will be ideal for electric vehicle and energy storage applications. What is particularly interesting is that solid-state technology is ideal for a pouch cell format. This offers the flexibility to move away from the traditional cell. Instead, we might be able to create batteries on a single unit that forms an integral structure element in a vehicle or aircraft. If the good progress made so far continues, then we'll see a slow but substantial shift to solid-state batteries. And one day, they might even replace lithium-ion batteries everywhere, with the exception of special high-power applications. The automotive industry is undergoing a profound transformation driven by the growing popularity of EVs. As the demand for electric vehicles continues to rise, battery technology plays a pivotal role in shaping the future of electric mobility. New generation of lithium-ion batteries exemplified by their higher energy density, improved safety, and longer lifespans. Prominent examples, like Tesla's 4680 battery cell, are already demonstrating the potential of this technology, offering a promising pathway for electric vehicles. Lithium sulfur batteries, with their exceptional energy density and lower manufacturing costs, promise to revolutionize electric transportation. Meanwhile, solid-state batteries, with their enhanced safety and performance, are poised to lead the charge in the electric vehicle industry, offering improved range, all aimed at solving the limitations of conventional lithium-ion technology and creates energy diversity for the electric vehicle industry of the future. Finally, how impressive are these battery technologies, and what kind of batteries would you like Tesla to use for future products?
Let us know what you're thinking in the comment section down below. And if you had a blast watching this video, show us some love by smacking that like button, subscribing, spreading the word, and smacking the bell icon to get notified of more exciting episodes. Thank you so much, and until next time, stay safe and God bless.